George Mason IV was born December 11, 1725, on Dagu's Neck, Virginia, Fairfax County, to George III and Anne Mason. Mason's father died when he was 10, and Mason was raised by his mother and his uncle, John Mercer. His uncle had a positive influence on Mason. Mason was a neighbor of George Washington, and he took an interest in politics. He ran in his first election for a position in the Virginia House of Burgesses when he was 23, but he lost. Mason married Anne Elbick on April 4, 1750, and they had 12 children together. He was elected to a seat of the House of Burgesses in 1759 and represented Fairfax County. He built his mansion in Dagu's Neck and called it Gunston Hall. In 1773, Anne died from complications while giving birth to twins. The twins also died. The American Revolution began and Mason was a strong voice and leader for Virginia. He helped draft the state's constitution. Mason was also a Virginia delegate to the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia. During the convention, Mason fought against allowing the slave trade to continue until 1808. He said it was disgraceful to mankind. He also owned slaves himself. Mason was against ratifying the final draft of the Constitution and never signed it. His arguments brought forth the creation of the Bill of Rights. Mason went back to his Virginia home and lived out the rest of his life working and spending time with his family. He was elected to some local offices, but resigned when it became a requirement to take an oath to support the Constitution to hold office. Mason had a long battle with illness throughout his life. In October of 1792, Mason died at his home, Gunston Hall. I hope you've enjoyed learning about George Mason. He was one of America's founding fathers, but is one that is often overlooked. He never set foot in Kentucky, but Mason County, the eighth county of Kentucky, was named after George Mason. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.